everyone. Hey, it's Diane. Today we're going to be collecting seeds from the lamb's ear plant. It self-seeds here in our area, and right here there's a huge plant that I did not grow here. So I want to show you some close-ups of it. If you do not want these to seed all over the place, cut the blooms off before they bloom. Or let them bloom and cut the blooms down before they, you know, dry and seed. Right now, I know there's some varieties on the market now, I believe, that do not plume up and bloom. Um, they just have the leaf area. It's a very soft, kind of a fuzzy leaf, and I'm, I'll show you show you that here in a minute. Um, kind of a unique plant, but I wanted to show you how to collect your seeds from it, and I want to get them. I want to get get these seeded heads off because I'll have them all over the garden next year if I don't. So let's get started, and I'll show you how to do it. It's very simple. Since it's September 12th, we're in the fall season almost, I'm gonna, it doesn't matter. I want to get this cleaned up. And I'm going to show you a close-up what the lamb's ear looks like. Why do you suppose they call it the lamb's ear? Check that out. Very fuzzy. Very soft feeling. But I'm going to show you the seeded seeds. They, they are loaded up with seeds. But these are so loaded that I know seeds have fallen to the ground already. So next year I'm sure I'll have to do some cleanup. But I don't like them spreading all over the garden. And they'll, they'll do that if you don't clean them up. I am a little late doing this. So as normal. <laughs> I'm just going to take and trim these tops off. And I'm going to show you what they look like. Check that out. The seeds are inside there. And I'm going to be putting these in a container. And I'll show you the oodles and oodles of seeds I have. So let's get let let's get this done. I should have actually done this sooner if I didn't want them seeding. But you know how life how life goes and how busy a person gets. I'm going to give you a closer up here. I'm going to bring this video down. Okay, check this out. You can hear it, can't you? Look at all those seeds. Oh my God. I knew they produced like crazy. But look at that already. Lots of seeds in there. I'm going to have gobs of them. So I may have them available next season, uh, 2014. But in the process now, I'm just going to get these trimmed off and let the seeds fall in this container. Be very simple to do. And the plant actually is going to look tons better once I get done. And I'm going to show that to you also. Because these have been, uh, these bloomed early and then, you know, they've seeded. They've been seeding out for a little while. So I'm going to get this done and I'll bring you back. So look at them all. You want to wait till they're crispy before you get your seed, collect your seeds like this one right here. I did get some ones that aren't quite dry because I just want to get them off of here. But you want them to be like this. Look at the seeds coming off of them. It's going to be prolific. It's prolific and it spreads. But let me show you what it looks like now. I like this look a lot better. Right there. That looks so much better than all them spikes up. And then there's some that are going to bloom yet right here. They're still spiking up. I've got some new growth coming. Still spiking up. So I could take them off of there if I wanted to. Because I don't want any more blooms. Because they seed like crazy. But the bees like them. So I might just leave them alone. Just catch them before they start drying. And then trim them off. So that is collecting seeds from the lamb's ear. Uh, I know a lot of you probably have this plant. It can be aggressive. It can spread. Like I said, this seeded here, and it's might have been, it may have been here a few years. I don't remember, but it hasn't been here very long, and it has grown. It's probably uh, about four by four, right? It looks like about four by four patch there. So it's very. If you don't want it all over the place, make sure you trim your blossoms down. Or you can don't if you don't want it blooming and you like just the nice ground cover, just trim them off. Just take something and trim them down. That's the way I prefer them. But it's you know all in what you want to do. 
I'm going to have plenty of lamb's ear. And here's a friend right there. Hi. Can you say hi? <laughs> She's <laughs> all over. She's always here. So you guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next video.